Uh, my second favorite probably lens is the 50 millimeter RF. No, let's start over. So I've had a lot of people ask what kind of gear I use. Am I a Sony shooter, Nikon, Canon? Well, I'm a Canon shooter. And um, so instead of saying what's in my bag, I decided I'm gonna do, um, what do I take on a typical photo session, whether it's dance or portraiture? Um, we'll start off with the trusty camera. It's got the battery grip, it's the Canon EOS R5. Um, and I've got on it right now my favorite lens, the 85 millimeter f1.2 RF. It is a fantastic uh, camera and lens combination. You can see that lens is pretty, pretty big. What else do I take with me? The Canon RF 50 millimeter 1.2. Um, again, just a fantastic, fantastic lens. Pretty big lens in its own right. What really kind of changed my photography and my outlook on lenses was this lens right here. It's one of my favorites. I don't use it as often as I would like to, but it is the Canon EF 135 F2 uh, L lens. And it is just a beautiful lens. It's extremely old and a little bit dirty. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it was manufactured years and years ago, but it still works flawlessly. It just has, a beautiful um, rendering that it does to your work. You can find these used for five to seven hundred dollars. It is probably the best lens that you'll find in that market at that price range. Go check one out. Um, I've also got the um, that's also the only EF lens I actually carry in my bag still. Uh, I have the 35 millimeter f1.8. Uh, it is an RF lens. And this is a great little handy um, wide angle, sort of wide angle lens to have um, with me. Um, some, I shoot pretty tight for the most part with the 50, the 85 and the 135, but that 35 just gives me a little bit more of an option if I wanna just open it up just a little bit more. Um, with the camera, you gotta have batteries. So I typically have batteries. I, I normally always have five extra batteries in the cart or in the bag, um, you never know. It's always better to be safe. I have two extra batteries for my flash trigger. Um, the, the batteries last quite a while, but again, you don't want to be out there and all of a sudden you realize, oh, my battery gone. Um, kind of back to the 135, I forgot to mention, I do have the adapter because it doesn't, uh, it's not native to the camera body that I use. So I have the Canon adapter, EF to RF. Um, I've got, of course, some little things to wipe off my um, lenses. This is basically the strobe and it's kind of what's back here right here, but this is the strobe that I use. It's the um, Flashpoint or Godox AD600. Um, this is just like the base model. It's not the pro model um, and it serves the purpose that I need it to serve. It is a beast strobe. It is just phenomenal. It's got some weight to it. Um, here's the battery and I typically bring two of these with me because again, you don't want to be out there and all of a sudden you realize your battery's dead. There is one piece of equipment that I have that I actually don't have two batteries for and it is this. And it, this has become a, a fantastic little staple in my camera bag. I love it to death. It's the uh, Godox or Flashpoint AD200. Um, it's got, I've got this little grid on it right here. And this is what I've actually been using for my backlight. Super simple. I've got it on this Manfrotto stand here. Easy to set up a quick two light setup. Super easy, super simple. You put one in front, one in behind, and now you've got two lights. Um, I did not use this light for the longest time. I've had it for forever, but I just wasn't using it. And I took it with me on vacation because I didn't want to take the bad boy and uh, or the big boy and so i decided i was going to just take this i paired it with this little grid i've also got this little 
um, whatever you want to call this, but it's an, it's another diffuser and it will basically sit right on top of there. If I pull the grid off, it just helps to soften and diffuse that light a lot. Um, so yeah, this, the big light here, it's behind a 42 inch umbrella or beauty dish. I carry it on this massive C stand. And why am I carrying around a C stand? Because it's a 42 inch umbrella. And when you have big winds, heavy winds, um, it's gonna fall over if you've got it on a cheap stand. And why would you put a $600, $700 light on a cheap stand? So big C stand here, but I don't lift and carry that C stand everywhere. I put it on a set of wheels. These are newer wheels, the brand newer, and I got those on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link to all of this stuff down below. Um, but this has made my life really easy when I'm out on location, especially like a downtown location or anywhere you're rolling around that's got concrete. Um, you don't wanna to have to carry the light. You don't wanna to have to break the light down every time you decide to move from location to location. So get yourself a pair of wheels, especially for those C stands, but it'll also work on any other type of stand as well because the, the wheels actually telescope out. Um, can't go on a photo shoot without memory cards. I typically bring several different memory cards with me. These are CF Express Type B, and I've also got the trusty little um, SD cards. Um, let's see here, my camera bag. Here's my camera bag. Uh, this is one of the Peter McKinnon nomadic bags. Uh, I did spend a pretty penny for it, but what I realized is um, I think my first camera bag was about 70 or $80 and it lasted me about 10 years. So I thought, well, if I spend more money than that, maybe it'll last me the same amount of time. Um, but I just love what it actually has. It's got some really nice um, compartments in it. Let me zip that up so some of that stuff doesn't fall out. But it's got this nice compartment in it right here. Um, just really nice. The only issue that I ever have had with this camera bag is that I lose stuff in it because it's got those compartments. Um, you know, there's been stuff like I actually had a client pay me and I couldn't find the money. So it was in the camera bag the whole time. Three months go by and it was in the camera bag and I thought I had lost $300. So um, whatever, that is uh, the way that it is, but that's kind of how I do that. Um, one of the last couple things, you've, meant, you've seen it in a video before, but I carry a speaker with me to all of my photo shoots. Nobody wants to sit and listen to you breathe the whole time you shoot. So bring some music along with you. And let's see, I don't actually take this with me, but this is like a bonus. Uh, I do edit with a MacBook Pro. This is the M1 model, 16 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I don't know what all the specs are, but when I actually went with the R5, my files were just so big that it was really kind of killing my um, 2015 MacBook Pro. So I decided I needed to upgrade and that's what I've got. But I don't carry all this stuff. You gotta have a way to carry it. And this is what I do to carry it. I have a cart. It's a pretty big cart. It's one of these that folds up, folds down. Um, get the big wheels. Don't get the skinny wheels, get the big wheels. Why get the big wheels? Well, because you're not always shooting on even terrain. Sometimes I shoot in parks, gravel, rooted areas near creeks. Um, and when you have those skinny wheels, it just doesn't work that well. Having those big wheels really makes it convenient. Um, it makes it much more rugged. You can kind of just drag and pull. It's like an SUV, you know, it's just massive. So I put all that stuff in the cart and every photo shoot, 99 out of 100 times, that's what I take. It all goes in the cart. It all fits in my little Mustang trunk and um, that's it. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Hit the little uh, bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And until next time, keep shooting.